Hi everyone, it's DC here and today I'm going to be comparing a cybersecurity degree uh, versus uh, certifications and experience. Raise it up! video is brought to you by uh, Red Bull Zero. It's um, I'm not sponsored, but I'd like to be. So anyway, getting straight into it. Okay, so with the Australian and uh, American and UK markets that I've seen and the people that I've talked to, they all say the same thing, which is that uh, while the cybersecurity degrees are good and definitely worth doing, uh, most employers are looking at people who have certifications or experience or both. Um, if you have all three, like a, a CyberSec uh, degree or master's, whatever it is, bachelor or master's, um, as well as like a CH, uh, OS, uh, OCS, OSCP, um, and like Security Plus, Linux Plus, all of those CompTIA ones, a CCNA definitely, if you have all of them, uh, you are absolutely golden. But if you don't have the time or maybe the money to, um, to do both a degree as well as the certifications, and um, maybe if you're new in the industry and you don't yet have any experience, my advice to you is to first do a, a certification just to make sure, like to test the water, to make sure that you are actually gonna enjoy what you're doing and, um, and that it is the right way for you to progress. So the certifications that I would choose first are the uh, CompTIA Security Plus and um, a CH as well, uh, the Certified Ethical Hacker. Those two are the really good entry level uh, certifications and you, you learn stuff through them that's actually gonna resonate through the rest of your career as well as uh, study path. Um, if you then do have the money and you want to go into it a little bit deeper, definitely have a look at doing a degree. There's no real answer like, should I do a degree or certifications? If you can do bo both, perfect, and a lot of people do. Um, but if you can't, the certifications that I would do are the Security Plus, the CEH, and then follow up uh, later with a CCNA. So in 2020, there's a new CCNA uh, coming out, which covers a whole bunch of, of really good stuff. Have a look at that. I'll find a link and I'll put it in the description. But, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd have a look at doing the CCNA later and do those other two first, if you're having a look at doing this right away. After you've done the CCNA, have a look at doing um, the OCSP uh, just to sort of expand your knowledge and to either get yourself into penetration testing um, or as a SOC analyst. Um, they do look pretty well on a resume as well, so you, you're pretty much guaranteed a job if you have an OCSP. OSCP. Did I say OCSP? I'm losing my mind. OSCP, sorry. So you're probably thinking, <clears throat> why would you want to do uh, a degree if you can just do the certifications? And um, yeah, you're right. It's um, it's much of a muchness, to be honest. And most employers are just looking for experience as well as certification. It looks for certifications over uh, like a college degree, um, especially in private firms rather than uh, government. So the government do look more at um, a more traditional formal path of study, like doing a uh, degree, but other companies like uh, MSPs or um, even vendors, they're looking at what skills they can list as their own services. And having a degree is never on that list. They don't, they just don't really care that much, to be honest. And I know that sounds really shit for all the people out there who are studying. Um, but keep in mind, if you do study, um, a degree as well as a certification, you're, you're going to be worth more, 
right? And later on, it's going to be easier to move into management, which I don't know if that's something you want to look at, but that's definitely, like you, you will need a degree to get into management, guaranteed. So what sort of experience are people looking for is, um, it's usually like at least one to two years, especially for a entry level position. Um, what they don't say is, usually they don't say anyway, is what sort of experience is required. So if you have experience on a help desk and you've come across sub skills and you know jobs in your daily job, which I think you probably will, then yeah, that's, that's one to two years of experience. Uh, the way I would do it is to get those certifications that I mentioned just before, so the CEH, the um, CompTIA ones, and then later the CCNA. That should take around one to two years to complete. Um, while you're doing those, if you can get a job uh, on a help desk or as a service provider or as a sysadmin, it depends on where you are in your career, how you go about getting that job, but that's sort of where I would start if I was you and then get into cybersecurity that way. So I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below, join Discord and, and have a chat with me there or hit me on Twitter. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Catch you later.